Contents of the video 1. What is Kursemba and what is it used for? 2. What you need to know before you start using Kursemba. 3. How to take Kursemba. 4. Possible side effects. 1. What is Kursemba and what is it used for? What Kursemba is? Kursemba is an antifungal medicine that contains the active substance isovaconazole. How Kursemba works? Isovaconazole works by killing or stopping the growth of the fungus that causes the infection. What Kursemba is used for? Kursemba is used in adults to treat the following fungal infections. Invasive aspergillosis, caused by a fungus of the aspergillus group. Mucromycosis, caused by a fungus belonging to the mucorales group, in patients in whom treatment with amphotericin B is not appropriate. 2. What you need to know before you start taking Crisemba? Do not take Crisemba. If you are allergic to isovaconazole or any of the other ingredients of this medicine, listed in section 6. If you have a heart rhythm problem called short QT syndrome. If you are using any of the following medicines. Ketoconazole, used for fungal infections. High doses of ritonavir, more than 200 mg every 12 hours, used for HIV. Rifampicin, rifibutin, used for tuberculosis. Carbamazepine, used for epilepsy. Barbiturates such as phenobarbital, used for epilepsy and sleep disorders. Phenidoin, used for epilepsy. Street John's wort, an herbal drug used for depression. Afavarens, a travarine, used for HIV. Nafcillin, used for bacterial infections. Warnings and precautions. Consult your doctor or pharmacist or nurse before you start taking Crisemba. If you have had an allergic reaction to another azole antifungal treatment such as ketoconazole, fluconazole, itraconazole, voriconazole or posaconazole in the past. If you have severe liver disease, your doctor should monitor for possible adverse effects. Monitoring for side effects. Discontinue Crisemba and call your doctor immediately if you notice any of the following adverse effects. Skin rash, swelling of the lips, mouth, tongue or throat with difficulty breathing, may be signs of an allergic reaction, hypersensitivity. Changes in liver function. Crisemba can sometimes affect liver function. Your doctor may do blood tests while you are taking this medicine. Skin problems. Call your doctor right away if you have severe peeling of the skin, mouth, eyes or genitals. Children and teenagers. Crisemba should not be used in children or adolescents under 18 years of age because there is no information on use in this age group. Other medicines and Crisemba. Tell your doctor or pharmacist if you are using have recently used or may need to use any other medicines. Some medicines may change the way Crisemba works or Crisemba may change the way other medicines work, if taken at the same time. In particular, do not take this medicine and tell your doctor or pharmacist if you are taking any of the following medicines. Ketoconazole, used for fungal infections, high doses of ritonavir, more than 200 mg every 12 hours, used for HIV, Rifampicin, rifibutin, used for tuberculosis, carbamazepine, used for epilepsy, barbiturates such as phenobarbital, used for epilepsy and sleep disorders, phenidoin, used for epilepsy, street john's wort, an herbal drug used for depression, afavarens, atravarine, used for HIV, nafcillin, used for bacterial infections. Unless your doctor tells you otherwise, do not take this medicine and inform your doctor or pharmacist if you are taking any of the following medicines. Rufinamide or any other medicine that decreases the QT interval on the electrocardiogram, ECG. A prepotent, used to prevent nausea and vomiting in cancer treatment. Prednisone, used for rheumatoid arthritis. Pioglitazone, used for diabetes. Tell your doctor or pharmacist if you are taking any of the following medications, as the dosage may need to be adjusted or monitored to check that the medications are still having the desired effect. Cyclosporin, 
tacrolimus and sirolimus, used to prevent transplant rejection. Cyclophosphamide, used for cancer. Dejoxin, used to treat heart failure or an irregular heart rhythm. Colchicine, used to treat gout attacks. Dibigatranitexalate, used to stop blood clots after hip or knee replacement surgery. Clarithromycin, used for bacterial infections. Sequinavir, fosamprenavir, indinavir, navirapine, lopinavir slash ritonavir combination, used for HIV. Alphantanilu, fentanyl, used for severe pain. Vincristine, vinblastine, used for cancer. Mycophenolate mephetal, MMF, used in transplant patients. Midazolam, used for severe insomnia and distress. Bupropion, used for depression. Metformin, used for diabetes. Donorubicin, doxorubicin, amatinib, arenotecan, lipatinib, mitazantron, topotecan, used for different types of cancer. Pregnancy and breastfeeding. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, think you may be pregnant or intend to become pregnant, consult your doctor before using this medicine. Do not take Crisemba if you are pregnant, unless your doctor tells you otherwise. Since it is not known whether it may affect or harm the unborn baby. Crisemba should not be used during breastfeeding. Driving and using machines. Crisemba may make you feel confused, tired or drowsy. It may also cause fainting. Therefore, be very careful when driving or operating machines. 3. How to take Crisimba? Follow the directions for taking this medicine exactly as directed by your doctor or pharmacist. If in doubt, consult your doctor or pharmacist again. Starting dose for the first two days, 48 hours the recommended dose is two capsules every eight hours. Usual dosage after the first two days. This will begin 12 to 24 hours after your last initial dose. The recommended dose is two capsules once a day. This dose should be taken until your doctor tells you otherwise. The duration of treatment with Crisemba may be longer than six months, if your doctor considers it necessary. The capsules can be taken with or without food. Swallow the capsules whole. You should not chew, crush, dissolve or open the capsules. If you take more Crisemba than you should. If you take more Crisemba than you should, consult a doctor or go to the hospital immediately. Take the medicine container with you so the doctor will know what you have taken. It may cause more side effects such as Headache, feeling dizzy, agitation or drowsiness. Tingling, decreased sensation or tactile sensation. Trouble noticing things, hot flashes, anxiety, joint pain. Altered taste, dry mouth, diarrhea, vomiting. Palpitations, elevated heart rate, increased sensitivity to light. If you forgot to take Tresemba, take the capsule as soon as you remember. However, if it is almost time for the next dose, skip the missed dose. Do not take a double dose to make up for missed doses. If you discontinue treatment with Tresemba, do not stop taking Tresemba unless your doctor has told you to. It is important to continue treatment with this medicine until your doctor tells you to. This is to make sure that the fungal infection has cleared up. If you have any other questions about the use of this medicine, ask your doctor, pharmacist or nurse. 4. Possible Side Effects Like all medicines, this medicine may cause side effects, although not everybody gets them. Stop taking Crisemba and call your doctor immediately if you notice any of the following side effects. Skin rash, swelling of the lips, mouth, tongue or throat with difficulty breathing, may be signs of an allergic reaction, hypersensitivity. Call your doctor immediately if you notice any of the following side effects. Severe blistering of the skin, mouth, eyes or genitals. Other side effects. Call your doctor pharmacist or nurse if you notice any of the following side effects. Frequent, may affect up to 1 in 10 people. Reduced potassium concentrations in the blood, decreased appetite, hallucinations, delusions, headache, 
drowsiness, swollen veins that can cause blood clots, shortness of breath or sudden, severe breathing problems, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and stomach pain, changes in liver function blood tests, skin rash, itching, kidney failure, symptoms may include swelling of the legs, chest pain, feeling tired or drowsy. Rare, may affect up to 1 in 100 people. Reduced white blood cell count, may increase the risk of infection and fever. Reduced blood cell count called platelets, may increase the risk of bleeding or bruising. Reduced red blood cell count, may make you feel weak or short of breath or pale. Severe reduction in the number of blood cells, may make you feel weak, cause bruising or increase the chance of infections. Skin rash, swelling of the lips, mouth, tongue or throat with difficulty breathing, hypersensitivity, low blood sugar levels, low levels of magnesium in the blood, low levels of a protein called albumin in the blood, lack of assimilation of nutrients present in food, malnutrition, depression, difficulty sleeping, stroke, faintness or feeling faint, dizziness, tingling, 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 tingling or prickling sensation in the skin, paresthesia, altered mental status, encephalopathy, changed taste, dyscusia, spinning or dizziness, vertigo, heart rhythm problems, may be too fast, or irregular, or extra heartbeat, this may show up on your electrocardiogram or ECG, circulatory problems, low blood pressure, wheezing, very fast breathing, coughing up blood or spitting up blood, nosebleeds, indigestion, constipation, bloating, abdominal distension, enlargement of the liver, inflammation of the liver, skin problems, red or purple spots on the skin, petechiae, skin inflammation, hair loss, back pain, swelling of the extremities, feeling of weakness, extreme tiredness, drowsiness, feeling unwell, malaise. Reporting Side Effects If you experience any side effects, consult your doctor, pharmacist or nurse, even if they are not listed in this video.